Every day we hear about somebody struggling with anxiety, or worse, someone who has given up on all hope. We hear about young people who begin to lose hope and who begin to feel helpless because they don't know how to talk. And half the time, it's because they're afraid to or just don't know how. I ask you to all join me in our efforts to embrace mental health and raise awareness so that young people will not be afraid to talk about it and most of all, they will know that they're not alone. I just want to say a quick word about mental health. It's something that I live with every day. I have anxiety. Um, one of my main triggers is actually being in front of a camera, which is why this, is, this video was actually so hard for me. One day, I wish that mental illness and mental health doesn't have to be something that you need to hide. I wish that one day people don't have to be ashamed or afraid to say that they have these things. And even still to this day, um, when I tell people I have mental health and I advocate these things and be the person that I am, I definitely still struggle with it. And to anyone that sees this, I just want them to know that um, being in my position, I still face the same struggles every day with anxiety. Um, one of my other triggers is when plans um, change or don't get created and I don't know exactly what's happening. I get very nervous and very fidgety. Um, and sometimes I'll just shut down altogether and not talk. And I mean, these things don't seem like a big deal, but when your friends want to go out and they come and randomly pick you up at your house and you have an anxiety attack over that, you start to realize just how much it affects you. If you're having a hard time right now, I just wanted to let you know that there is hope and things do get better because you are not a burden and you are not worthless. You are so loved and I want to thank you for being here right now because you are a gift to the world and you have so much to offer. So don't ever give up. Just believe in yourself because things will get better and I promise you that. Mental illness being something that is ill in your brain means that you can't ever run away from it. And medication can help sometimes, but you always live with your mental illness. Um, and just like how some people can go to a hospital if they break their leg, I don't always feel like I can go to a hospital and tell someone I had an anxiety attack and get the same support or response. And I also don't want people to feel as though people see them as crazy or psychotic just because they have a mental illness. These things don't necessarily change um, people in ways like that, Not maybe in extreme cases, but... Hi, my name is Mitchell and I'm going to talk about mental health for, for a minute. Um, mental health is, is something I think that needs to be brought out of the darkness, you know, it's something people don't talk about on a regular basis and I, I think we need to bring that out of the light because it's a serious issue that no one knows exists. And uh, I, I once did a social experiment where I went around my school telling them I had depression and, and everyone said, you know, that's not something you say out loud. Let's change that thinking, guys. Let's, when someone tells you something that they have, a, that they have an illness or, or they have a mental health issue, you gotta, you gotta support them through that and you gotta help them with that, you know? I think that's something we need to talk about. I think that's something we need to, we need to support people with, you know? I think 
the more love we spread around, the better, the better, the more love we're going to receive. You know, the better the world's going to be if we just spread love. You know, and and spread support. That's what I think. Mental illnesses are not always easy to overcome, and it doesn't matter if you are able to overcome it right away or after a very long time. What matters is that you can teach yourself to manage it, to fight it, and to always have hope. The hardest part about mental illness is not the mountain in front, of, in front of us that we're climbing. It's the pebble in our shoe. It's the thing in the back of our mind that says that people who are mentally ill are different because they aren't. Everyone has a brain, no matter the race, religion, it doesn't matter. Everyone shares a brain and the brain can get sick. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a person for having a mental illness. And I think that um, being awarded the Inspiring Youth Award and having a mental illness kind of proves that you can be an amazing person and have a mental illness and you can inspire others and have a mental illness. Those things are definitely difficult to get by with, but it's not impossible and that's why I hope to inspire other youth is because they can do anything they want in this world and even if you shoot for the stars and miss, you'll land on the moon and that's a good first step. I'm Tessa, Tessa Mizarakis. I'm a singer-songwriter from Vancouver, BC, and I did deal with a lot of social anxiety and depression um, throughout my high school experience. Now, the way that I dealt with this was I wrote songs about it. I wrote songs about the people that were hurting my feelings, you know, sometimes if school was stressing me out, I didn't want to go back to school, the boys that I liked, and for me, music acted as a positive outlet. It was healthy, it was something that I could do when I came home from school when I had a really bad day. And it allowed me to deal with my problems in a way that was, that was positive and it helped me move on. So my suggestion for anyone who's dealing with anything, that anything's troubling them, they're worried about something, um, is to find something that you like to do. You don't even need to be good at it, that doesn't matter. If it's art, it's science, it's sports, it's anything. If you like to do it, it's positive and it's healthy. Just use that as an outlet. Use it, uh, spend your time doing that. Whenever something gets hard, you're, you're worried about something, um, draw a picture, kind of write in a journal, um, write a poem, do some sports, get, get those hard emotions, uh, get them out, pretty much. <laughs> I really don't know how else to explain it. it. It helped me, it did wonders for me. I graduated high school. Um, I don't worry about the things that I used to. I've learned lessons. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've moved forward. Um, so yeah, that would be my one thing, is find a passion, find something you like to do, and pursue it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Eric, and uh, I'm here to talk about mental health. It's, it's something that's not talked about enough. Um, and and there are many, many forms of, of uh, mental uh, issues that have not, do not have many symptoms. Uh, they, they aren't. You, you can't, you can't go around and just, and just so, oh, 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 that guy has has depression or anxiety. It's, uh, and not a lot of people like to talk about it. And I struggled with, uh, I've struggled with depression and anxiety for most of my teenage life, and I'm 19, and. Uh, it's, it's hard when you, you, you need to talk to, to someone about it. If your parents, someone you trust, um, it's living, living with something like that and suffering with it alone is, is, not, is, not, uh, is not easy at all. Um, having friends and family to support you is, is one of the best ways to, uh, to work, work it out. And uh, just know that someone cares. Someone always cares and you're not alone.
Something that most people don't know about me is that I battled anorexia, an eating disorder, for two years. And although that was a time that brought me a lot of anxiety and even at one point possibly depression, I am glad that I am able to come out and say that I'm strong and that I made it. My name is Justine Martin. I'm a member of Project Cinderella Story. My role in PCS is that I'm um, the member at Fleming College. I help run it and I'm the head person, so I hope to bring mental health and also anti-bullying and stuff more closer to Fleming College, make it a more non-bullying and also mental health place to be so that everybody there is comfortable in sharing and bringing it out. Hey, my name is Jeanette Bundick. Today I'm wearing purple to show my appreciation for Mental Health Day. This is an important day because there's so many people who need help, but they don't know how to ask for it. Don't worry, you're not alone. Sometimes I feel stressed out too, and to overcome that, I do my favorite activities like dancing or painting, or if I'm still feeling bothered, I talk to someone I trust. And from time to time, I'll remind myself, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Um, so lighting up purple is important to me because I need to help. Um, I suffer from severe anxiety and also depression. So for me, it's important for everybody out there to be comfortable with who you are and also have a mental illness, just be comfortable to talk about it and not feel judged or anything for it because it's something that affects everybody on the if you see it in person or if it's just in your head. I think a very important thing that helped me to push through is the support of my loved ones. So if you think that someone that you love or care about might be going through any type of mental illness, it is very important to show them just how much they mean to you and just how valuable they are. That they're special, that they are worth twice as much as they will ever believe. Hi, I'm Peter Bundick. I'd like to give a big thanks to Rhea, Jackie, and the Every Thing Show for having me as a guest. I also had the privilege of presenting at the very first Every Thing Wall of Stars Awards Night, and hopefully many more to come. Coming up this October 10th is World Mental Health Awareness Day. Now whether a friend or a family member is suffering from mental health issues, we can all make a difference. You can help by being supportive, or just by showing your care. Wear your purple this World Mental Health Day. I'll be wearing mine. is a candle that lights the way for someone else. And with everything you do, your flame grows bigger and bigger, as does your heart. And that fire is what makes you who you are. Sometimes the rain will try its best to get you down, but don't let it do that. 
because that fire, that is what we want to see in the darkness. We want to see the light. I just wanted to say a quick shout out to everyone who's supporting Light It Up Purple for 2015. I think it's an amazing initiative and I saw what happened last year where hundreds and thousands of monuments and people lit up purple in support of World Mental Health Day. And I know that the team at Project Cinderella Story is definitely going to be a part of that. All four of our schools will be doing an event for that. And I think it's amazing if you will please support World Mental Health Day and Light It Up Purple. And if you support our friends at the Amanda Todd Legacy, because it does get better. Like some of you out there, I have dealt with a lot of things like anxiety and stress, especially going through high school. But that doesn't mean that it's the end of the road if you have a panic attack down the road a couple times. Because I had those, but I'm still here. And I want to give you all out there hope and inspire each of you that there is a bright future ahead. Try to focus on the positive instead of looking back on the negative. A strong and healthy mental state is not only essential for your own happiness, your own success, and your own sense of self-worth, but it's also a catalyst in those sentiments being echoed in the people around you. So mental health is essential, it's important, and it should be supported. If I would get stressed or if I was sad or angry, I would find a way to let it up positively through my music or through painting or writing a story or a poem. And I encourage all of you out there to find some way to put your emotions out, pour your heart out into something that is beautiful. Turn these things that tear you down into a work of art because your life is your masterpiece and it's up to you on how you paint it. Don't ever give up because I know that you are strong and maybe we know each other, maybe we don't. But I do care about you. And a close friend of mine once told me that all of us play a very important piece in a very large puzzle. And no puzzle is ever as beautiful as it could be if one piece is missing. Stay strong, believe that you are beautiful, and know that there is always light even in the darkest of places. Push through, I know you can. I want you to see the sudden sound Surf the waves in I know the world's 
Mental health can be helped because there is help. October 10 is World Mental Health Day, so join us and make a difference. Like I say on Painted Purple, let's spread the love and pass it on. All the other teens in this video that you have seen are here to share with you their stories and speak out about anxiety and other mental illnesses, and I'm very proud of them, and I, it encourages me all the more to be open about things that I have gone through. It makes me so inspired that I hope that all of you out there as well are encouraged to stay strong, stay positive, and be open. You shouldn't have to be afraid about what someone will think if you're dealing with something. You shouldn't have to worry about someone labeling you for something that you can't control. You shouldn't have to worry about having to apologize for having a panic attack in front of someone. And you shouldn't have to be constantly worrying about what people will say if they see you crying in the corner because of a trigger. We deserve to live in a world where there are no labels, where everyone is open, and where everything is as real as it should be. We can't control how we are born into this world. We can't control what we have or the things that we are born with, but what we can control is how we handle them. And that always starts from within. And I know that you can do it. If you ever feel afraid to open up about it, that's okay and that's normal. There's no need to rush. If you ever feel like you're struggling like you're drowning in your own worry, try to find your way back to the surface. Find that thing that brings you back up, whether it be your family or your friends, even your favorite TV show or your favorite type of music to listen to. Find that one thing that always makes you smile. Hold on to it. At the end of the day, know that you are special and know that there is help out there for you. And it might be hard at first, but like I always say, things like these are sometimes like learning to walk for the first time. It's scary and maybe the first couple of times you might be afraid that you'll stumble and fall. 
but as soon as you can stand on two feet, you can take on the world. definitely know that if we all help each other, one day the stigma of mental illness will be erased and we will be able to talk about it openly. Above all, I hope that this episode has encouraged you to have hope and to stay strong and stay positive. Until then, I'll see you next week and never forget to spread the love.